Well, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group returned home to Naval Station Norfolk today. New tonight, 10 on your side's Madison Glassman was there as the ship pulled into port. Over 5,000 men and women returned home today on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower and the USS San Jacinto after seven months at sea. The carrier strike group operated in 5th and 6th Fleet. We were out protecting the global commons, making sure that our adversaries and our near peer competitors didn't dominate the seas. We dominated the seas. Sailors assigned to the Eisenhower and San Jacinto transitioned to the equator, and Navy officials say they participated in a unique crossing the line ceremony, becoming the Navy's first iron shellbacks, meaning they've been at sea for more than 100 days. The ship traveled 60,000 nautical miles, all while the world on land changed. The ship left in January of this year before the coronavirus outbreak began in the U.S. It'll sink in when everybody finally gets out of the pier and out in town and they realize that folks are wearing masks, they're social distancing. They docked at Naval Station Norfolk and will begin their journey in our new normal. Navy officials tell us they already have safety measures in place for the next time ships will need to depart in order to keep everyone safe in the midst of the pandemic. It's a long process, it's a different process, it's not convenient, it's not supposed to be convenient. It's supposed to be deliberate so we all stay healthy and we can, we're able to do our job. I'm Madison Glassman, 10 on your side.